It's not that we need to change anything in our friendship. No, no, no. Guys, let's go back and we'll do a couple of Thank you. You want to say hello? Well, uh, first of all, let me say how glad I am that you came back as a your persistent. I love one saying which is, winners don't quit, quitters don't quit. <laughs> and I'm afraid, or I hope, <laughs> we hope that you are made of this stuff. And uh, despite of all the difficulties we're trying to wear off, we shouldn't give up. To give up means to invite a tragedy to hundreds of thousands of people. So I really want to express my highest appreciation for your assistance, for your tirelessness, for being at the same time in 10 different places in the world <laughs> and trying to pacify so many unpacified people. And I wish you success from the depth of my heart. And I express my highest regard for the president. I think he's sensitive. <coughs> I think you and him are looking what will be the best approach to an impossible situation. And finally, I hope it will be fun. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, I have to say very quickly, first of all, it is a great, I'm, I'm very happy we were able to connect on this fairly uh, hectic schedule. And I'm honored that I'm here uh, to be able to see you as president in the last days of your presidency. And I know you, I think, leave Sunday. You have to respect me until Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> then you're free. Now, you know very well that uh, y y your respect is limitless. Uh, in the United States, we have a particular uh, regard for your leadership and for your eloquence and your passion for your peace. So I just say that um, I know when you get out of here, you're going to be speaking and you're going to be engaged. And I have no question that there's no slowdown for Shimon Perez, just a different venue. And I really look forward to continuing our friendship as well as uh, our professional working relationship. We have a lot to do still. Thank you. Thank you, my friend.